Welcome to the God Project. This reading is from Censored 125, uh, the God Project, and the title is The Poor by William J. Eisman, D.D. If we believe conservative Republican Christians and prosperity preachers, we might believe God has it in for the poor. But it is the rich and counterfeit Christians who have set their sights on the poor. Psalm 10, verses 2 and 9. The wicked, in his pride, does persecute the poor. He lies in wait to catch the poor. The God of the Bible says we are to strengthen the hand of the poor and the needy. Ezekiel 16, verses 49 through 50. We are to give bread to the hungry. Ezekiel 18, verse 17, 7, excuse me, 7, 12, 16 through 17. Real Christians are warned not to vex the poor and the needy. Ezekiel 21, verse 29. Is it not vexing the poor when we cut food stamps? Anyone contemplating such an act at this time cannot call himself a Christian. He would be a devil appearing as an angel of light. God says that the kings should show mercy to the poor. Daniel 4, verse 27. A king is the head of a government. So it not, would not be showing mercy by cutting food stamps as some representatives in our government want, want to do. Amos 5 verse 12 states that the poor have a right. God warns the rich that they have their consolation. Luke 6 verse 24. The Bible is very clear how a true Christian is to respond to the poor. He is to give his two coats to those who have none. Luke 3, verse 11. And he is also admonished to give meat if he has it. According to the Bible, it will always be hard for the rich to enter the kingdom of God because they fail to understand that those that much is given to those who much is given much is required Luke 10 verse 48 where does the hostility toward the poor that we see in so many conservative Republican Christians come from in Acts 19, verse 35, Christians are told to support the weak. Ayn Rand devotees, like Representative Paul Ryan and Rand Paul, do not believe in altruism. In James 2, verse 6, Christians are commanded not to despise the poor. In 1 John, chapter 3, verse 17, it is plainly stated that the love of God does not lie in him who sees his brother in need and shuts up his bowels of compassion from him. Is it not time to see clearly the hypocrisy of the phony Christians in Washington? After what we have learned, how can it be seen as Christian to cut food stamps, change welfare as we know it, and deny the poor health coverage? It's time to end the farce and call his spade a spade. A Christian follows Jesus. One is not allowed to make up his own religion and traditions, Mark 7, verses 7 through 9. 
One who does not honor the poor is a liar and a cheat. Everyone in our government who wants to cut food stamps, who is not for free education, and will not help those being foreclosed on by big banks, and who is for taxing those on unemployment insurance benefits, is not, is not, is not a Christian. He is a vain, arrogant troublemaker. He is a social pest. He is wicked and races to do evil. There are many more positive references to the poor in the Bible. Check them out and stop listening to prosperity preachers and counterfeit Christians. These people are wrong about the poor, about the Bible, and about the God of the Bible. They are deceitful, they are evil, and they are deceived. Revelation 12, verse 9. The End